Oh, oh. Bam! Oh. So it's Memorial Day, kind of early in the morning. Well, eight, eight o'clock maybe, eight thirty. Uh, today we're gonna do. I want to talk about my carnivorous plans and what exactly, how I take care of them, and what's going on. This isn't normally where I keep the these plants. Usually they're on another shelf. But I think for the purpose of the video, I brought them down to this level. It's easier. I'm on my seat in the greenhouse. If you can call it a greenhouse, it's pretty small, but I jam it in there. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> we got a lot of sundews. This is a sundew plant that I pulled out of this pot. Then this is another sundew where it's really tall and stretchy. Um, there's an interesting story behind that. And here's my bog where I have another sundew that I pulled out of here. I have pitcher plants, I have Venus flytrap, and there was another sundew here, Drusera tocolonesis. I don't know how to say the last word. And I killed it. So I had that plant and I killed it. And that ties in with this plant with the story. So let me bring the camera in, we'll get a little closer and I'll explain how I take care of them. So these plants all like to be in a lot of water. They, I'm pretty sure the Venus flytrap is from North Carolina in the swamps. Um, I think that's where those are. Sundew I think is native to North America. So if you've ever been, I grew up in Virginia. So North Carolina, same shit, man. I mean, it gets to be 110, 120 during the day, but then in the winter it freezes. Uh, North Carolina, maybe not so much, um, but you know, they're hardy plants. They're from America, or, you know, they're from North America. They like to be in water. Now, you have to use distilled water. Distilled water, distilled water, distilled water. If you put regular water in there, first off, where these plants grow are in bogs and there's not a lot of nutrients in the water. It's only rainwater and the trees and other plants suck it all out. So if you go put minerals in here, especially like the Venus flytrap or the pitcher plant and the plant starts getting nutrients from the water, it quits putting out pitchers and traps because it thinks it doesn't need it. So you have to use distilled water in order to make it produce these other things. Also, what I learned from California carnivores is like every time you put it in, it doesn't leave. Whatever medical, minerals or chlorine is in your tap water or whatever water you use, it stays in there. So you might get away with it once, but then you get away with it again. And like in two or three years, there's a mineral buildup and it's going to fuck your plants up. So distilled water is what you need to use. Another thing is, if you're out in the greenhouse and you forgot to bring water down, you can just... So, these are some of my sundew plants. Now, I have a lot of sundew. I mean, that consists a lot of my carnivorous plant collection, but I'm getting there, I'm getting some more, uh, and I'm definitely gonna order some more. You can see right here, you can see right there, it's starting to flower. So that's gonna be a flower. Look at the droplets on this thing. I mean, it is just loaded with droplets. It's fat drop. So what happens is the bug comes down and think he's gonna get a drink of water. He gets stuck to the plant and he can't get off. You can see there, there's a bunch already. On that on that arm right there now oh that one has a lot of bugs look at all the bugs on that one and see how the black leaves are curling up that's when it gets loaded with too many or it catches a big one and it rolls down on itself digests the meat and then dies so so this plant which is also flowering twice this was a flower from before it put out another one I just ripped it out of the dirt here and put it over here and it's already having a, a, a new offshoot there. It's a baby sundew at the bottom. I guess now it's a toddler, 
or a teenager because it's starting to get big. So that one already reproduced. When I ripped it out, out of here, all of a sudden any, there was any little root scrap made a new sundew. So that went off. And then I pulled it, one out and put it over here. Now this one is in my bog. Let's go to the bog. Here we have my pitcher plants where, you know, bugs go down in here. There's little hairs that like are reversed. And once the bug gets in there, it can't get out. If it was a bright sunny day and it was on a top shelf and the sun shines through the pitcher, you can see it's, you know, they're all filled with bugs. It just looks like dirt when you cut it open, but they all have a decent amount of bugs in there. And this thing is just going off. I mean, I bought the bog like last November when most of these plants, like they're in dormancy sort of, and they all, all the pitchers pretty much died. I mean, there was one or two, but then they died off as soon as, gotta get Daisy Bush out of here. Uh, I mean, just look at that. This is like, you know, I mean, it's healthy and happy and it's just cranking out more. Look at the middle there. So we're loving that the bog. Uh, we also have the Venus flytrap. So I bought this kit from California carnivores and they send it to you with two bowls. This water is supposed to be as high as it can go. I think it's fine there. They also, you just use sphagnum peat moss and perlite and that's all that they grow in. Um, so it came with three. It had this one, the Venus flytrap, the pitcher plant. It had another one of these, but it was the one I showed you the sticker for earlier. And it's a sundew, but it has like, they're, they look like little spoons. Instead of being like tall and stretchy, it comes out and folds down and there's a round paddle at the end. So it was in there um, between my surgeries and, you know, I got hit by the car and I still then, the leg got infected. So I had to go and do some surgeries. I mean, you know, some days I didn't get out of bed for a couple days. Um, so the water ran all the way down to nothing. And then the little other sundew died. So I have no problem saying that I killed it. The moss comes naturally in San Francisco. Um, it also, the, the, the channel I watch, California Carnivores, they get it up in Sebastopol. So I think it's just a natural byproduct. It helps keep things moist if I do forget to water it. But there's our bog and I'm gonna order another spoon sundew for that. Okay, here's another sundew I got and it's kind of cool. I made another little bog for it. Maybe the water's not high enough. If you look on these sundews, they're just at the bottom. But this one's kind of cool. Uh, it's starting to make the droplets. I don't know much about carnivorous plants. Uh, I seem to be, I killed one. Uh, the sundews, I think I have that down because they look great. And when I had a commercial grow room, we did keep a sundew in there to help with the gnats. Um, but so the sundew, I kind of, but I, I, even that I can learn. I've watched enough YouTube videos to know, you know, you can kind of, you got to decide who's full of shit because I could just be on there spewing nonsense and misinformation and no, there's no regulation. Like you got to figure it out for yourself who you're going to believe. Sometimes I'll watch videos on carnivorous plants and I don't know that much about it, but I just know that they're wrong. You know, they say something about water this thing once a week. I did find California carnivores. Uh, I think it's, it's like, I think one guy owns it and it seems to be pretty much, there's two girls. So the, the one guy and the two girls do the videos. I mean, they're articulate, you know, they're attractive people, you know, somebody you can watch. Not only that, but they are knowledgeable. I mean, the guy who runs it and there used to be, I think an older guy that he ran it with, but I think that guy might've passed on or something. Um, I'll have to check. I think his name's Damien. Uh, I mean, this guy remembers the first, you know, carnivorous plant he bought when he was 11 years old. And you can tell by their greenhouse. I mean, it's amazing. One video, a rat went into his pitcher plant. I mean, <laughs> so there's a lot of nonsense out there on carnivorous plants. I go plants. by what California Carnivore says, and I bought this bog from them. As I explained earlier, I let the water drain down and I killed the thing. So I wrote him a letter 
saying, hey, I bought a bog from you. This plant died. I need a replacement. Plus, I want to get a couple other plants. You know, they had this Alice in Wonderland sundew, or it was called the Alice sundew, and it looks like something from Alice in Wonderland. But I think they sold out. I'm going to try and get one of those. I'm going to see what they recommend. So I sent them an email saying, hey, I killed the plant. Can you make some recommendations? I want to, you know, uh, also add to my collection. And their reply was, I'm really sorry, this is from Allison. Thank you, Allison. I'm really sorry to hear that your rosetted sundew died after one season. I would love to replace this for you, and I will have Daniela pick a nice Josera of her choice. If the other Josera you're thinking of is Alicia, we're currently out of stock, but should have more in a few weeks. Please let me know if there's anything else we can do. Have a great day. Well, I figured they were going to send me a plant when I ordered in two weeks, like my email said. And I was just going to be like, I mean, like, I, I, you know. <clears throat> so one day I go downstairs and there's a box, a little triangle box. And I wasn't quite sure what it was. So here's how they sent the plant. You know, it comes, it's super taped up on the bottom so the dirt doesn't go anywhere. Now I've opened it and kind of put it back. It was a lot better but I want to let the air, the plant have some air. Um, but basically that tape one, I mean, it was super secure. When they ship a plant, I mean, it is, it's, you know, it's pretty safe. Uh, I opened it up and this plant was in there. I guess they went back in their records and found my address and said, who does this? It's after COVID, nobody has customer service, Christ. These people paid for a pot, they paid for the dirt, they paid for the plant, they've taken care of it, and they just sent, they, they paid for shipping because I killed my plant. Uh, here again, I don't have enough YouTube viewers to have any sort of endorsement. I'm just telling you my experience with this store and these people. It, I mean, you know, this bog is a killer idea. It was like 45 bucks. And after watching their videos, I brought my stuff down here into the greenhouse and they really like the greenhouse. It does get cold at night. You know, I'm lucky if it gets, right now we might be not going under 50, but some nights we're still gonna hit 40. So pretty much all year you can get that in San Francisco. So uh, I'm really happy with California carnivores. They sent me a free plant. So now, you know, I have to call and order a bunch of stuff cause I feel bad. Uh, but check out their videos. They know a lot more about this than I do, obviously. Their videos are informative. Sometimes my videos are too long. I feel sometimes theirs are short, but like for Venus Flytrap, they have two 30 minute videos on how to take care of Venus Flytrap. I mean, if you watch those videos, you, I don't know how you can look at mine. I don't know how you can go bad. Uh, so check them out. Uh, here again, no endorsement or anything. I'm just telling you that's a good move. Oh, it's so close to your face. Well, back up. Go outside if you have to. Okay. Mm -hmm. How's that? Okay. All right. Are we? Are we? Is it recording? It's been recording. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So I've had a fever for two weeks and pneumonia, and I look like shit. And I gave myself a haircut, but we caught the fly in the house and I wanted to do emergency video. So I got the fly in the jar. I'm gonna kind of knock them out. I'm gonna grab them with the chopsticks and we're gonna feed the Venus fly trap. Okay. Come here, Caroline. Hey. I'm still recording. Let's step on in. I might have killed him. He's knocked out. Oh, oh good. He's fucked up. He's got a move. What are you doing? Bit. I mean, you can't. I can't see the fly trap. Oh. Get him right away. Oh yeah, he's he's hurting for sure. Oh, Don't he's... squish him too much. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> God, I suck with chopsticks. Do you want me to do it? Why don't you pour him out into your hand? Why well, was nobody there helping me when I caught the fly? <laughs> Which one are you going to put in? Are you going to close Sorry. immediately? Oh, 
Parker. Right. That one's not as cool. Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. Miyagi. Okay. Oh, can you oh. Bam! Oh. And he's done. Oh my God, I'm so sad. <laughs> you have a funeral? Which one did you put it in? The one that's closed. Did you miss it? No, I mean, I was recording, but I don't know if I had the right oh, angle. Shot down, it's so fast. Yeah, you can see him in I there still. That, that poor thing. Let's go find another slot. <laughs> <laughs> Video one? Yeah. Jennifer caught this little fly in here. We're going to feed the Venus fly trap again. It's getting fed two days in a row. Look out. Okay, we're going to shake it up. Be more aggressive. 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 I don't want to kill it. Calm down. <laughs> that fucked him up good. Fuck it. Don't let it get away. Watch it. The other sundew was here. I ripped it out. And then wherever I ripped it out from, all these babies shot up. Now, this one was old, but it was a baby. But anyway, it just made like, and I've already given some away. These are pitcher plants. So I bought a bog from California carnivores that contain these pitcher plants, the Venus fly trap, and the sundew that was like little spoons.